okay good evening uh, so today we will see another game with using turtle graphics only so uh, the game name is uh, pong uh, arcade game so i think uh, everyone must have already played this game so if not just uh, let's see how i am talking about this game so every time the ball hit the paddle so it goes to next user like uh, there is a two player game so I am using no the speed of wall will increase depending on how many times uh, it has touched the paddle so now if the ball misses then again it will and goes into reset So now we will go to the what exactly the steps we have in this Pong arcade game. So first of all we need to create a screen and then we need to create uh, and move the pedal. So the, if we have already seen there are two pedals like a right pedal and left pedal. So similarly we need to create a ball and make it move and similarly when the a ball hit the a wall so for example it's a horizontal wall then it should bounce back and we need to detect the collision with the paddle when the ball hit the paddle also it should again bounce back and then when the paddle misses the ball if it's uh, hit the vertical wall it should reset the ball should uh, come and uh, the opposite player should uh, get the Yeah, uh, so the opposite player should get the paddle like uh, the score uh, depending on the uh, if uh, paddle got missed by the uh, player so it should get so just uh, once again just I'm repeating like it's a pong game so whenever uh, the ball hit the paddle it will bounce back we are playing So if user has uh, didn't hit the ball and if user has missed the ball and if it has hit the right, uh, left most then the opposite player will get the uh, score and the, uh, again the it will start from the uh, center position. So these are the steps what has involved in the Pong game. So let's see one by one. So if it is like uh, these are the graphical representation, uh, like uh, how we need to go forward. Uh, there are eight steps involved. Now because it's a similar kind of uh, stuff, we have did it for snake game also. Similarly, we will be doing. Now, just uh, we will be doing uh, multiple uh, uh, like. Uh, all these uh, four uh, python files and uh, we will be importing uh, the main file is the main file which we run and we will be importing all the classes we have defined in uh, all other uh, python files let's see one by one so the first thing is like uh, uh, create a screen <coughs> so for example let's uh, comment all this out so uh, now generally so we uh, the first thing is left from turtle so we are importing screen so and the turtle classes so now we are creating a screen object a similar stuff so, uh, with the black color and we are setting up uh, the screen uh, width and height with uh, to 400 uh, 
pixels and height to 600 pixels and we are just giving the pong we can change it pong game and here it's the animation like uh, when we create any paddle and we when we are doing some mo movement so we should not see that animation so that's why we are offering the tracer animation but uh, if we haven't updated the screen manually then uh, we don't see any turtle object on the screen so that's why we will be calling the update method so it's like uh, so if we run only this file so because we have commented everything out it just creates the screen so it just created the screen it's a pong game and it hasn't done anything else now what we will be doing we will be creating two pedals so uh, to create a pedal again we will go back to uh, create another pedal dot py file and then we will doing the same thing like we are creating a paddle class and we are inheriting it from turtle class turtle is the super class and we are defining the constructor method and we are calling that super uh, uh, keyword to get all the methods in the super class and uh, to use that all the variables so it's like self dot shape now turtle shape is like square we are defining and uh, the color to visible on that we are defining white and it's like stretch width and stretch length so generally uh, to stretch length is like by default our uh, turtle object will be 20 by 20 pixels so when we give this stretch width so it will be width 500 into sorry 5 into 20 it will be 100 pixels even the stretch length we don't we won't be stretching any length so just we are stretching the so that's why we have we are giving one so the similar kind of stuff we have seen in snake game where we have given 0 0.5 0 0.5 the foot object so it's like 10 by 10 pixels it has got so to change this uh, shape of the turtle object uh, we are using this shape and then we are uh, giving the pan up and go to position so here we are if you carefully observe we are defining a one attribute uh, extra so in the constructor method so it's like uh, when we are creating we should provide uh, this uh, parameter like position parameter depending on that uh, our title object will create at that position so if we go back and if I just score and comment this so now it is like we are creating two pedals like right pedal and we are giving uh, this 350 by 0 so it's like we are dividing 800 width into it's like minus 400 to 0 and 0 to 400 similarly we are keeping at 350 uh, uh, like 350 pixels at that position so it's like a right extreme and the left is like left extreme we are keeping but uh, there will be space uh, between the between the vertical wall and the uh, like left vertical wall and the right vertical wall so let's see like I want to just come this out so now just we are defining game is on equal to true oh, oh, just a flag value and while game is on equal to true we are doing uh, this we, we will come back so when we create a object so now we are just updating this screen dot update method so uh, what happens if we uh, didn't on like a screen tracer and uh, what exactly it will do let's see when we create uh, okay let's okay. 
so just we are not giving any tracer to off then what exactly it will do so if you see this there is an animation so it is creating at uh, this uh, uh, this two objects it is creating at center and then it is moving uh, to the position what we define like is 350 by 0 and uh, minus 350 comma 0 so but we don't want to see that animations so that's why what we will be doing we will be offing that animation using this tracer method so if we give 0 it will off the animation but if we don't update the screen now what it will do we don't see any objects created so we are not seeing any paddles created right so but to do that we need to what we need to do we need to actually update in a while loop we need to update the screen manually to see so for us it won't be visible so now if you see by default the animations is not visible so it has created uh, two paddles and it has kept it the what are the position we require now uh, we haven't seen any animation so it's created and then it's moved uh, it the objects to the position what we desire so that uh, that's the way we we will be turning off animations so that it, uh, actually resembles like a game now generally now we should now we should uh, that uh, key uh, that uh, paddle should listen to the key presses so what we will be doing we are creating another uh, go up go down functions like methods so go up is like uh, for every time user press uh, uh, the up uh, so we are getting y coordinate and we are adding some 20 pixels to move so that it will go to because the x coordinate won't change it will be fixed only the paddles will move up and down so it's like only it will move up uh, y coordinate or the negative y coordinate so similarly we have defined the function like from the object get the y coordinate and do uh, negative so similarly we are go to so we are defining so when when a user has called this function it should move 20 pixels down so similarly kind of stuff what we did so screen dot lesson is the method so it will listen for all the uh, key presses what user is uh, pressing on the uh, keyboard and now what we are calling when user press up it will go up paddle and user press down it will go down so it's we are calling the user so we are uh, giving up arrow key and down arrow key similarly for left pedal we are giving w and s keys so we, you can give any keys so because generally uh, when in any games so it's like w s a d is the up or down or left right uh, uh, keys so which will be used so we are we are taking like ws keys like up and down now let's see this game so in the paddle dot pivot just we have defined only this uh, go up go down so I am clicking WS so simultaneously up down arrows and WS so my pedals are moving now if I go back yeah. 
now i need to create now we have created all this and we have all the three steps we have done so and the it is actually working with the query process now we have to create ball and and when it hit the like when hit the horizontal wall it should bounce back and when hit the pedal also it should bounce back uh, so let's create how it's like so now we will be creating another ball class like ball dot py so similar kind of stuff mm. ball and then we are giving color as white it's by default now it's like circle and we don't need any draw so that's why we are given pen up so this is uh, just creation of ball up to here here it actually defines how the ball moves so we are moving actually the ball uh, vertical like uh, so if we have taken a graph uh, like uh, so it's like uh, uh, it will from 0 0 it will uh, go like a 10 10 20 20 20 20 30 30 40 40 something like that it will go to till uh, the end so that's why we, we are incrementing like uh, 10 10 so you can change this because uh, depending on uh, your requirements so if you change to 5 5 the ball will move very slowly so even you can give this also here also but uh, but this will be used in different methods so that's why we are defining at the constructor level so that this values can be used uh, this uh, variables you can say instance variables can be used uh, in another another methods also so generally what we do we are defining another method move cell so it's like uh, whenever we are getting the x coordinate of the ball and y coordinate of the ball and then we are adding a 10 10 pixels and then we are sh saying uh, new x new y so a ball will move in the similar direction so when we go back we are actually creating a ball class ball object from the ball class and then what we are just for yeah so if I run this so if you see the <laughs> the ball actually escape so even before starting also like uh, we haven't seen uh, how the ball uh, went so we can do this like uh, uh, if uh, to reduce the speed there are two ways to do for example I am giving 10 so if I give 1 1 pixel then also the ball will uh, move slowly but it is still uh, not uh, at the face what human and can see it is going uh, slow see so now what I can do instead of that I'm just giving 10 10 pixels now what I will be doing I just go to and actually I import time so import time and yeah. every time the while loop runs I am we will be giving a delay so that uh, it will be at uh, some speed like for example we are defining the same uh, move dot speed in the ball method so for example it is at 0 0.1 so when we run this again so now it is moving at a little bit phase so what user can see so every time while loop runs we are actually adding some delay so depending on the value of this if you change this value to 0 0.01 and 0 0.00 it will actually uh, go 
or to very depending on this value only or uh, refreshment rate where the how the ball moves it will depend so it's like move speed why because instead if you define speed because already turtle class having speed that's why instead of that speed we want to define a variable value that's why we have kept as move move underscore speed so again going back So now we have defined all this. Now what we need to do? We need to detect collision with the wall. So how we will be doing detect collision with the wall? So it's like we are detecting with the horizontal wall. Like uh, if we this take this as example. So the the horizontal wall is at y-axis. Similarly, y-axis like is like uh, uh, 300 comma 300, uh, like 0 comma 300 and 0 comma minus 300. But if I given 0 comma 200, uh, 300, so because the ball is actually 20 pixels, so that's why we are just uh, trying to 28 pixels. So whenever the ball little bit uh, uh, like the circumference got touched so then it's like it has touched the wall so that uh, it is very clear otherwise if you give 300 pixels so it will the half of the ball will be a uh, covered so what we are doing we are actually calling once this uh, condition logic we are calling bounce by what exactly bounds by what we defined we are actually negating the value of the y coordinate so if it is going up so it's it will be uh, y coordinate will be in positive notation if it is going down the ball then the y coordinate will be negative and we are actually what we are doing we are negating that so that the ball will, will come back so the same thing we to negate so it's like uh, that's why we have defined this logic, this uh, variables. Even if you define 10 comma 10 here plus 10 minus 10, instead of that we are reusing the uh, variables, instance variables which we define. So bounce why? So when I call this. So when it I haven't saved. So when it hit it should bounce back. Yeah. So if you see carefully, so it has bounced back and it's like we are negating the y value, that's why it's like the x value will be uh, same but it tag actually going in this direction like a negative y direction so now this so a next step is like we need to the similar kind of stuff but when uh, ball detects paddle so the similar kind of stuff so it's like uh, we are, have already used when the snake detect the food so similar kind of uh, thing we are using distance method uh, r dot paddle so from the ball if the distance of uh, paddle is less than 50 uh, and why uh, So it's like uh, why we are giving this uh, less than 50 is like when the uh, ball has it uh, because we have defined uh, our uh, what meant to say our paddle to 100 pixels by 
10 pixel 20 pixels right so it's like uh, whenever the ball hit the edges then also we should detect uh, the ball has hit the uh, pedal so that's why we are taking this uh, 50 uh, if the ball hit in the middle there is no problem but if the ball has hit uh, the edges like if it is greater than 50 then it is not but if it is less than 50 then it is uh, actually hit the ball so similarly like uh, when uh, 320 is like uh, already we have defined the pedal at uh, this thing like uh, uh, 350 pixels and the distance generally the distance will be uh, like 340 we can give like uh, I mean to say 350 minus 20 like 330 we can give uh, but still it's like the ball might uh, go into the pedal and we, we uh, uh, don't exactly detect the collision so that's why we are giving the x coordinates because if you see it uh, the ball is hitting the x coordinate so we can change we can uh, like uh, try a play around this logics uh, play around this variables like uh, variable values and then again what we are doing bounce back is like now we will be negating the x value so it should uh, go back So uh, let's uh, comment this out. So what exactly this will do? We'll see. So now what it is doing? We are actually negating the x coordinate now when they hit the paddle. running again now if you see actually the wall is halfway into the like it is actually so the ball instead of uh, seeing to bounce immediately we are actually seeing some of the uh, ball uh, semi-sphere is actually going into the paddles so to avoid that we uh, we need to actually so it's like trial and error methods only if you give 310 also so we can check how what exactly how it is behaving so now just if you now it's exactly it is touching so if you see exactly before that it has it's uh, showing exactly how it is touching yeah so if we give 3 that it is going into the paddle so I think better this is the option we have this is coming Let's see. It's actually issues.
Okay. Okay, I think that's a uh, temporary issue. We'll be checking. So maybe the, uh, it's uh, certain logic when we are clicking exit, it is unable to destroy all the. So it is unable to detect the canvas. That's why it's unable to. Like uh, create or move the ball. Let's see how we can handle. Okay, no, uh, okay. L uh, let's see now where it is. We are actually at a detect collision with paddle right now. The similar kind of uh, thing. So here the same thing like. Uh, we are actually doing with right pedal so similar kind of stuff we are doing with left pedal like minus 50 and it's coordinate minus 20 so now if the user has missed the ball Now before we do the scoreboard, so what user what it should do? It should reset the position. So again, we have defined the same uh, kind of method like reset position. What it should do? It should go to zero comma zero, and it should actually uh, start again. So it's like if it is, uh, I want to say, if it is uh, missed at right hand, it should, uh, uh, when it started, it should go to uh, left side. So that's why we are uh, negating. If it is uh, missed at left side, and it should go to right side. So let's see how this works. So now let's. Uh, I will be missing it left side. So now it has uh, gone again right side. So now next time I will miss it right side. So if I missed it right side, it is going to left side. So if you are carefully observe. So if it time master left side, it is going to right side. So now so now we have uh, achieved at this position. Now we should check the scoreboard. So scoreboard again uh, what we have did already we have seen the same that like, uh, in K snake game we have our, our right score equal to here we, we won't be doing any uh, such kind of stuff just uh, uh, the similar kind of thing like uh, we are creating on title object and we are hiding the title object and a left score is zero right score is zero and we are updating the scoreboard and we are actually keeping it uh, some uh, position so it is again a trial and error method position so you can do it uh, on thing how it is feasible for you now here we are writing only the score we are not writing left player score or you can try to do that uh, but here 
we are just aligning center and we, uh, we are uh, giving a uh, very hues like 80 80 and then courier so the same with the right score so it's like we are keeping uh, one side of left at uh, upper left it we are keeping at minus 100 and for right we are keeping it 100 and the y uh, the y coordinate is 200 itself so then uh, we are actually defining uh, uh, when user has missed that uh, uh, we need to increase the score rate right? so we are defining the left point right point so we are calling the same thing so here uh, we already seen why we have called the clear because it should clear every time uh, the user is updated otherwise it, it will do the overlap overlapping so now if i run again I haven't saved it. Sorry. Sorry, we, I haven't created. So I have to create a scoreboard object from the scoreboard class where I am importing from scoreboard, import scoreboard class. And then I am calling scoreboard help point. if you see so it will go on into loop so it's like so but here if you see the uh, the uh, the phase what exactly the ball is uh, going is So it is like uh, it goes on the same way, but uh, if you want uh, to increase the speed, we should have some uh, certain logic, right? So every time when it uh, hit the paddle, the ball speed should increase. So what we need to do is if we go to paddle, like ball, now we have defined the bounce x. So, every time uh, it hit the paddle, so we are actually multiplying that uh, speed 0 0.1 into 0 0.9. So, the speed of the ball should increase. So, uh, it's again depending on trial and error method only. It's depending on uh, our comfort, uh, how the should change. And this is why we have actually defined this move speed in a uh, instance variable so that we can change we can use it in different different uh, methods so again when user has missed so it's not like we should be starting from that uh, speed only so it's like increasing the levels so when user has missed we should again come back to the default speed so that's why we are actually again keeping reset position and we are resetting the speed of the ball also to 0 0.1 so now if we run so if you see the speed has increased very drastically So because of that, so 
so it's uh, depending on trial and error method we have come up with the 0 0.9 uh, but yeah so it should not be neg negative again uh, when we call the time dot sleep when you when it's n like negative we will get an error so it should not be like that case so So it is increasing the speed gradually, not uh, at a time, because when we give 0 0.5, it has increased its speed very fastly. I think that's it. Uh, so we have actually developed. We can use it. Uh, all the so you can play with your friends or just you can do whatever. So you can just uh, change the speed and you can uh, try to play with around this variable so how where the collision is there so is it feasible of 280 or if you given 290 how it is behaving uh, and again this uh, paddle misses like because uh, we are giving like a 0 to 400 right so i forgot uh, to hear how we are getting x coordinate uh, if it is greater than x coordinate it is hitting the uh, right and then we are actually doing the reset position and we are increasing the point similarly if it is left uh, pedal misses then we are increasing the right point yeah. Yeah. that's it for today you can try to put it around so it's like again very useful why we will be using uh, uh, like object oriented program because we have created two paddles with the same class if you want to write the same thing in the uh, scripting way we need have we need to write much code and it's like uh, it's not uh, feasible or uh, it's very clumsy we need to define everything we need to define all the uh, comments so better uh, object oriented program is very uh, useful so these are the examples what we are doing okay then